Hi, I'm Qilan. Let's spend three minutes together learning about the impact of augmented social cues on our impression of remote colleagues when working from home. Thinking back to the time when we were in the physical office, there are rich social cues for us to know our colleagues. For example, we can infer who are collaborating with each other by seeing the activities happening around us and who are closer to each other by seeing their physical distance, the gesture they used, facial expression, or body orientation. Even if we don't have direct interaction with each other, we could have passive awareness of our colleagues, like seeing them in the meeting rooms. But when everyone works from home, those rich social cues are missing. Remote working made everyone isolated without knowing who is working on what project, who's on the call right now, and who are chatting with each other. All the information we received is mediated and augmented by communication technologies like Zoom, Slack, and email. How we perceive our remote colleagues can be different than face-to-face -face interaction and misunderstanding can happen. For example, the angle of the camera might make someone to be perceived as taller than the other side, which could lead to dominance in the conversation. Therefore, my research is to figure out how different augmented social cues change our impression of our remote colleagues. For example, how do people link different types of social cues, such as the virtual background, stickers they used online, with the impression of colleagues in remote workplaces? We found that workers misinterpret the unavailable cues, such as not seeing remote colleagues' online activities, and available cues, such as turning on the camera in video conferencing, to infer their colleagues' engagement level. We also found that virtual background influences the first impression we have on remote colleagues in video conferencing. And the emotional information in the profile picture can influence how workers interpret the emotion of the text message. With our research, we encourage audiences to be aware of the impact of augmented social cues when building online relationships with remote colleagues. Finally, I'd like to invite you to think, when communicating with your remote colleagues using communication technologies, have you ever noticed any social cues from the conversation technologies that could influence your impression of your colleagues? If yes, what can you do to change it? Thank you very much.